Hi friends, welcome back to Beccarelli's Books. Um, so today I am going to have a go at making one of these. I started, I made this, started making it just to have a play and it's a little wallet and my, the idea in my head was that it's a wallet that has got um, it started out as going to be a music what, music theme and then I got into the Christmas spirit and I started with Christmas things. So it kind of evolved, <laughs> which is fine, <clears throat> but it gave me some ideas. Anyway, so my idea evolved into creating a little parcel that has photographs, and a letter and maybe like a, a card to somebody about the photos that are in here so <laughs> I played around with all of the elements and I found some Christmas photos lots of little just bits they're all different they're not even from the same era but does it matter I don't think so so I found all these little things and then I popped these in the pockets so if I take all of the bits out I'll show you what I've done so it's just a trifold with a scalloped edge I've covered it in different papers inked around it and then I created this little pocket out of lace um, I hand stitched this on this cute little thing so that is a pocket in there and then this is a pocket here, obviously. And then I've found some more of this stuff. I cut some of this off the bottom. And I just put, put that on there as a little, like a hanger or a tag or something. So I got to this point and then I was like, oh, Christmas. <laughs> so then I had this idea that I would uh, make an envelope. I mean, like, fake an old letter, pretty much. Um, so I got a coffee-dyed envelope, and I used my um, uh, dip pen, and I wrote a fake name. I don't know where it came from. It just popped into my brain. <laughs> and I um, found a... Because this was like, oh... I don't think this is how I'm going to do it because the envelope was too big and but I just I wanted to have a crack so I just did it so I just used a little um a stamp that I had you know I can still you can still buy these ones here so it's not vintage or anything I just inked over it yeah so that was the idea was to write a letter and I got a piece of um coffee dyed paper and I just started writing rubbish, really. And that, in writing the rubbish, then I was like, oh, I should write about the photos. I can make up a story. So I actually have a story written on my phone because writing with a, a dip pen is actually quite difficult. Um, I think I did okay here. Like, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit, you know. A little bit messy but that I think that's cool people's handwriting isn't perfect but anyway um the idea is that there's uh, a, a story inside the envelope sent to somebody with a whole bunch of photographs and the story relates to the photographs so it's it's complete fiction you know it's not actual fact it's um, just a bit of fun and so that was my idea and now I will finish this Christmas one but not on camera I'll finish it because I, I want to do um, you know fancy it up and whatever but yeah I just did a little cluster on the um, paper clip why do I always get stuck on that word paper clip it's not that hard um, yeah, so they're just photos that I found online. 
printed them off. Some were part of bundles that I got. Um, so that goes there well, with a letter in it. And then you've got your photos here. And then this could be tickets or something else that you've written about. Like, oh, we went to the movies or we went to, I don't care, wherever, the ice skating rink. It'll be tickets to those events that relate to the photos. So that was my idea for that. But it kind of, it's not in theme. It's just a kind of a bit of throw together because it's not right. <laughs> But my idea is there because I was playing with all of these things. So I will finish this properly um, for Christmas and I'll show it to you when I'm done and I, I might read you the letter that I've written, <laughs> the story about the photos. So stay tuned for that one. But while I was making this, I thought I really like this style of little envelope thing. So I thought I'm going to make an, a different themed one and in my travels I found that I'd already created these little fold out things from file folders and I have a couple of them. One, two, three, four, five of them. So I thought I'll just grab one and I wanted to use this cross stitch book. And then I thought, okay, well, I've got these cross-stitch pieces. And these came in uh, possibly a happy mail years ago from somebody. They've just been cut out of a doily or something. So there's, oh, that's not cross-stitch. That's applique, so we don't want that one. But, yeah, these little cross-stitch ones I want to add because the theme will be cross-stitch. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to try fold, I think. I don't want too many foldy folds. So let's cut this flap off. Oh, so if I didn't say, we're going to make this. <laughs> um, we're going to make this now. If I can find my trimmer. Trimmer, where are you? Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I had everything organised. What have I done with it? Oh, it's over there. It is. It is organised. Oh, sorry, I bumped you. I'm really not happy with my um camera stand my phone stand thing that I paid like 60 bucks for it's not very sturdy it's hanging out over here with a heavy um tape dispenser on it because it falls forward and I don't like it but I paid some money for it so I need to use it don't I okay So I want this scalloped edge happening over here. So how I achieved that, I don't have a punch or a um, like an edge punch to do this scallop. So I'm just going to wing it, which is how I did it before. So if you've got one of those center finding rulers, get that out if not just find the center however you can I'm guesstimating but this is a 20 centimeter ruler so I've got the zero just near the edge here and the 20 just near the edge here so I'm going to make a mark make sure I'm doing the right place make a mark at the center which is 10 and then I'm going to do three centimeter scallops so I'm going to go 13, 16, 19, and we'll go 7, 4, and 1. All right, so now we're just going to hand draw our scallop. 
and I'm going to start so this will get cut off so those dots won't matter this is just a guide so I'm going to start here I'm going to do one scallop two scallop and that scallop's going to go right off so it'll be a bit bigger but I want that to be like a rounded part so if you wanted to you could cut this side out and then fold it over to get the mirror image but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to wing it again and to get my line right I'm just going to eyeball that on this part here and then I'm going to I need to turn it sideways I don't know why I, I write draw better that way all right so then I'm going to scallop to there and then I'm going to line it up with the next one here and I'm going to scallop to six round about and then I'm going to scallop off the page So there's my little scallop edge and now I'm going to cut it out So we got that bit and that will go like that. Okay, then we want to choose our image for the front. And I haven't even thought about it to be honest, but I'm happy to go with I'd like some words. And some cross stitch. I'm happy to put some color on it as well. What if we go with so it's not going to quite fit, but that's okay. I think we might trim this down a smidge so that it does. Or we can ink the edges but being color I don't know if inking will work hmm let's see we could go that way we would get some of this and then this here but I think if I'm going to have words I want it kind of off the edge so maybe I'll just do like something like this I like these colors yeah let's go with that all right so what I want to do is a spot for this here so I think I want some of the box but I don't think I want the mango so let's go with that and then I'm just going to trace around this oops it's all right we're covering it up Out. so it's not going to quite match 
the cross stitch that I have, um, the actual cross stitch, but that's okay. If I hadn't thought about it, I probably could have found a, a blue and white image in the book, which we can still, we can still do, I guess. Okie dokie. Let's just have a quick squeeze. See if there is any black and uh, blue and white. Well, that was the end of it. So I could have used this, but nah, that's fine. I think this will be good. All right. So that is going to be. Our front. Okay, we get a little bit of the bird. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then we're going to glue that on. So I'm just using a glue stick on the majority, but then I'm going to do a bead of art glitter glue <coughs> all around the outside edge so it doesn't lift. I might do these creases. Uh, is it going to go that far? No. And because I've done the art glitter glue as well, I don't have a lot of time to line it up. So if we have to trim it, that's fine. But I've got it, I've got it all right. I've got it pretty good. All right. So there's our cover part. I'll just trim that up a smidge. Okay, and then on the other side, we want instructions. And I might just do instructions for that if I have it. I might not have it. Because I have used this book already. Yeah, I have used that particular one. But that's all right. We can use a different one. This can be, what do we want, instructions? This is it, plant sampler. Yep, so I'll just get some of that glue off the edge there. Happy for it to be a little bit torn. So I'll make sure that this is glued down so it doesn't lift here. It's all pretty good. I'll say this to be the art glitter glue around the outside. Probably should have done it the other way around, but that's okay. I want this to be straight 
and it's got words on it and if it's not straight it will look weird and luckily I've got some print on the back so I can check it So there's that, and then we can we can either trim it or we can fold it over this side. I might fold it over because we're going to do some more covering up on that side. So we'll just fold it over. And then we can trim I'm just using the words as my guide hopefully that is straight <laughs> so I might use my paper trimmer once I'm done and just trim them all nicely so they're all nice and straight okay let's find another piece of instructions let's use this so it's not going to fit that way and that's not going to fit all the way that way either <clears throat> how about we go that way and then we can put a strip down there of maybe some colour. Okay. So I hope you're all well today. Today is Monday. Monday night, um, just had a lovely weekend, not doing much at all, but it was nice and relaxing. Oops, I have trimmed. Trimmed some of the card, but that's right because we are going to trim it after to make sure it's all straight. Now, I did find this bit a little bit tricky the last time because I've done it twice now and I've got a little bit shaky. So, some of the Fiddly bits I have done with the little scissors. So it's not a super intricate scallop, but I am struggling a little bit. My hands do get a bit shaky as the day goes on. But it's not going to stop me. Not perfect, but that's all right. We can fix. We can fix her up. So see if any of it lifts, and I'll come back in with some of this. Yeah, 
definitely needs a trim, but that's okay. Alrighty. So we'll find another piece of colour. Was there any leftover from the actual thing? Not that. A bit skewy there, but that's okay. There's going to be a pocket here, so that's fine. I mean, I could make it. I could make it thinner. It doesn't need to be that wide. That'll work. So we covered our folder. Now I'll get my trimmer again. And I'll just trim these edges. And then try and get them nice and straight. Beautiful. Okay. So what do you think so far? I quite like it. I like the green. And then we've got those on the inside. Okay. So then we need to choose something to go here for the pocket. I'm going to cut it down, but that could look cute. I quite like these. We could use that. I'm going to use that. Okay. Get rid of some of that mess. Okay. 
So what I need to do is measure. Measure between there and there. So my pocket needs to be 10 centimetres to give a little bit of wiggle room on the sides for folding. So 10 centimetres, we're going to put our 5 centimetre right there in the middle of the design. But do I want it centred? Because I think off centre looks better. It looks a bit, you know, unintentional kind of thing. So I'm going to make the centre four and I'm going to have the, this um, cross stitching more over this side. Okay, so I'll make a cutting mark here and then how tall do I want it? Sorry if I've gone off camera. I probably want it to be 10 centimetres as well. It's going to be about to here. So I might make it 11. And put a mark, whoop, a mark there to cut. And our side marks for cutting. I'm being a bit rough here, aren't I? I shouldn't be using this marker. Honestly, okay, hot mess. I'm going to cut on the inside of this line so you can't see it because that was silly. I think I've never cut fabric before. It's my first day. <laughs> Righto, so there's our little pocket and there's plenty of little linen scrappies. And there is our pocket going to fit nicely in there. Now I've made it, of course, I've made it a bit narrow. So what I might do for an extra little bit of interest is I might take a bit of this scrap and just finger press that. And then I can actually I can hand stitch that on. Have I got something? Yes. There we go. I was using this on the other one. This is vintage. I don't know if it's vintage. It's, it's old. Yeah, I don't know how old. But it's not new. <laughs> off some of my nail polish all right so I'm just going to stitch this on here I think I'm going to leave that raw edge no I think it's um, which side do I want if I use if I put this side on the on this like the raw edge here then I can fray it a little bit that might be might be cute so go through come on so this stitching where's more clips I actually want just about that much extra. Alright, 
So I'm just going to do a rough, um, you know, you can be as, as fancy as you like with your sewing, but I'm just going to do a running stitch. So I just want it to be attached. I don't need it to be fancy. And I kind of like, um, I'll do a couple of lines. I really kind of like this not very well done sewing. It's kind of interesting and gives it some character. don't normally sew this direction I don't know why I'm doing this but I'm finding it much easier to do and to be able to show you what I'm doing all right and then I'm just going to fold that down and sew that down And then we'll do another line of rough stitching back the other way. And because I have stitched those on that's attached, I can get rid of those. So this isn't necessary, you can just cut your pocket the right size, <laughs> but, you know, why not add a little bit of uh, primitive stitching to your piece, make it extra interesting. Okay, and I'll just pop that through the back and tie it off. cut that fabric all right there we go so now it's the right size yep cool okay so now i'm just going to use some fabric glue and stick that down you could sew it down if you wanted to i'm just going to stick it down I don't want to pull it too tight because then you can't fit anything in it you don't want it too loose either yeah that's pretty good There's our pocket, and then I thought I would just see what kind of scraps I've got lying around. I usually stuff whatever I've got into this little bag, what I've been using. I've got this little flower. I've got some, oh, this is nice. Get some navy oh, that's 
nice, I like that. So I don't really want to cover too much of this the stitching. So what I might do is layer this and fold that over. Alright, so because I want to glue this down, but I don't want that to stick, I probably should have done it beforehand, but, you know, I don't think about these things, do I? I just go with it, and sometimes I do it in completely the wrong order. So, alright, just got a, a little cellophane bag that somebody sent me something in so I'm just going to stick that under there so that when I put the glue on it doesn't glue my pocket shut <laughs> seriously I should have thought about it beforehand but where there's a will there's a way Trim that, chuck some glue onto the top here. Now, I want to stick this about there. And I can trim that up when I'm done. I just didn't want it to be cut too short. And then we'll go with some more glue. Like I said, you could stitch this if you'd prefer. And then we'll put that under there. And we probably don't need much more glue because there's kind of some seeping through there, but that's we'll just put a tiny little bit more. And then we'll fold the top of that blue one over there. Yeah, I like that. Lovely. So I've got glue all over me. And we can trim this up. sure that's stuck down I'm just going to leave that plastic there until the glue dries okay there's my pocket and then and then we want to make a closure For here so I think what I'll do is I'll find some I do so I want to make just a little circle with my circle punch and I want it to contrast here so I might use some of the text or maybe Hmm, where's the book? Do you want some bright flowers? Or do we want to use, I could use this, but I really like this image. I might use that for something else inside. And I might, oh, did I have some leftovers here? Yeah. That might be enough. Yeah. So before I punch it though, I've just got some cardstock here. I'm just going to 
stick that on the cardstock. And then I can punch it out. Yeah, cute. All right, so that's going to be my closure. And to make this closure, I also need uh, some smaller circles, but I don't have a smaller circle punch. So I'm just going to wing it because you're not going to see them. So I'm just literally going to cut. like a washer doesn't have to be neat I'm gonna cut two can you even see what I'm doing I'm so sorry all right so we'll stick those together like I said doesn't have to be neat because you're not going to see them and what they're actually for is just to lift this disc up a smidge so you can wrap um, so you can wrap your closing closing ribbon or twine or whatever around it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to punch a hole in the middle of this. Like that and I'm going to punch a hole in the middle of this and then I need to find a brad and it, okay this might be a bit of a struggle where are they um, okay here we go a little jar of brads you like that color I like that color all right that was easy okay so we need to punch a hole through here as well So wherever we want it, I might actually just make a mark. Okay. Punch that hole. And then the sandwich is the cover, the washer, Hang on, before we go there, let's ink this. All right, so the cover, the washer, the disc, the brad through the holes. And then we open that up on the other side. So then you've got a little bit of space between here and here from those washers that you made to wrap your string around it. Now on here we could just stick something over the top. You could have thought about it beforehand and covered it, um, like put that on before you covered the inside. Uh, but we could just stick something over the top, but I'm not actually going to worry about it. All right, have we got, we've got dry glue. Okay. So we're gonna ink all of our edges. And I'm using Vintage Photo is my colour of choice for this particular one. 
no other reason then it's the only brown that I have on my desk and that is the colour that I want to use Alright, so what I also like to do is get get the folds. I feel like that um, that is what actually makes it look a bit old. I don't know. I do it because I like it. So because this is um, shiny magazine paper, it's not inking very well, but I mean it's still inking, it's just not as good as it is with the other paper. Alright, so we're pretty much done. All that we need to do is to find some things to go in the pocket. And what I was thinking would be to actually put uh, like a, a pattern in there so I might use this sampler page the other side the other half of what we used I'm gonna fold that up not too tall that'll do so that can go in there oh, it is a little bit tall that can go in the pocket like that and then any other things that we have related to um, cross stitch or sewing I'm sure that I have lots of things in my little ephemera folder Let's see if we've got anything sewing related. What's in here? Handmade. little buttons but they won't really work what's this light and hug Hmm, could put a little ruler in there, put a little ruler in there, hmm, really have much in the way of sewing ephemera do I I do have some uh, doilies, paint, uh, print, printed doilies that I could make into a, um, into a journaling card to put in there. Here we go. 
these are all to do with sewing, I think. Yeah, I mean, finest apparel, it's more to do with sewing than cross stitch, but who care? Honestly, who would care? Blankets. What's in this one? It's to do with, I think this is all to do with um, pharmaceutical, let's say. Yeah. Pharmaceutical. And then the rest I'm pretty sure is all flowers and and bugs. Yep. Oh, well that's a shame, isn't it? Um, yeah. Oh well, we'll just maybe pop the ruler in here. Maybe we could pin that to the side with our envelope that we ha haven't made but I think what I'll do is I'll do another video on um, how I'm going to do the the envelope like with the letter and obviously I'm going to put some photos on it. actually I don't know if this one's going to be that style I don't know but next time I do this I will prepare myself better and have some things to put in it um, but so that's that we do have a paper clip here with some scraps of fabric and lace that we can just put, put on there randomly it doesn't have to be neat I like the look of just thrown together clusters like this just like that and then we can pin that on there there we go all right and then we can put something else in here and the closure will just be some where Got some of this. So how do we do that? We just wrap wrap it around there and then wrap it around there. You can go again. And there's our little little folder you can do it anything you like i hope you enjoyed that little make um let me know what you think and if you've got any questions ask in the comments um yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you're having a lovely day see you later bye